I'm Jeremy. I'm John. We're the Vintage Gamers, and uh, we're here with another off-camera pickup. A little eBay and uh, took a little trip to Charlotte. Uh, went solo, had some business to take care of. Uh, I guess we're going to start with from our first trip to Player's Choice. I got a bunch of stuff uh, from both stores, mainly a lot of NES games and some stuff I didn't have that I've been wanting to get. We'll start off with the NES games. We got Super Spite B Volleyball and Nintendo World Cup. Road Blaster. Hollywood Squares. Gunsmoke. Sesame Street. ABC. Just missing one more Sesame Street game. Gauntlet. Conquest of the Crystal Palace. Love that game. Another, another game John really likes. Caveman Games. Super Smash TV. Track and Field. Jaramite. Um, I got this for a special reason. You'll see why you're in a moment. Mickey Mouse to pay. Pack Land. Hogan's Alley. A game that me and John thought swore down that I had. It's been eluding me, and I had to go through my collection to see if I had it, and I did not have it. Car off. I just knew you'd pick that up like three different times. I didn't. Flash at Demon Head. Narc. Will of Fortune Family Edition. Palomines. Silkworm. That was uh, pretty much all the common titles I got. Uh, all this stuff is on trade, by the way. Here's some of the more uncommon stuff, not nothing super crazy. Uh, got Mule with the manual here. Family Feud. Isolated Warrior. Young Indian Gems Chronicles. It's got a little label damage at the top, so if I ever see another copy again, I'll probably pick that up to replace this. It's not bad. Uh, other than that, other than the top, it's in great shape. Championship Pool. Goal School. Kind of happy to get this, especially. It was only two bucks, and it's like a ten dollar game. Dragon's Lair, one of John's favorites. Classic. Venice Beach Volleyball. Another game I got and not in the best shape. If I ever see another copy, I'll probably pick it up. This cheap. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. That was all for the uh, NES games that I got. Uh, I got one modern game that's uh, on the PlayStation 3. That's Silent Hill Homecoming. Complete. Um, we got one Super Nintendo game, we got Brawl Brothers, pretty stoked to check this one out, looks kind of fun. We got three box complete Sega Genesis games, we got The Last Battle, we got Dungeons and Dragons, Warriors of the Internal Sun, In really good shape. The one, and the game is kind of rare, and they had it there for a really good price, because normally it goes for like 40 bucks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, complete. And it's a uh, Air Buster, in beautiful shape. Hardly been open, apparently. Nah. It's pretty sick to check this one out. I didn't have one of these, I can never find one out in a while for cheap. Everyone's always wanting like 20 bucks or something like that. And um, all this was on trade because I did a big trade with them. And, um, and I got a Game Boy uh, SP. Little, little one. Yeah. And I got uh, several uh, several original Game Boy games. I got Killer Instinct. Kirby's Dreamland. Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. 
Castlevania Adventure. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the And the last real big thing I got from there, um, they told me they got one in. And, um, I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and I got one. And that is a uh, pretty sure complete Rob the Robot. It's in uh, really good shape. Works and everything. Pretty sure to check this out. And the jar might actually came with this game. I just need to find a stack up now complete, which is gonna be the next thing <laughs> yeah. possible. At least you just wanted the jar my way. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm pretty pretty happy to get this. Especially since I'm we're getting the NES stuff. And um that's all that I got from the first show complete of choice. That's it. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, like I said, I traded in a lot of stuff in there. Stuff that I'm just not really collecting for anymore. And, uh, you know, stuff that I had doubles of that I picked up here from recent Craigslist deals and such. Um, yeah, I traded a few things and picked up a few things as well. Uh, I picked up uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters on Super Nintendo. Looks like a really good game. It's kind of beat up. You notice the crack in the back and the damage, but. So just check it out and play it. It looks like a fun game. Yeah. You got that man because Matt, uh, 64-bit Matthew recommended that. It looks like an awesome game. Thanks, man. Uh, also got a little bit of a rare game. Not an expensive game, but Three Ninjas kicked back. So I got a few uh, complete box Genesis games. I got Gold Knights 2. Batman. This was a steal at five bucks. Yeah, caught him, caught him slipping a little bit. And then I got Fantasy Star 3. It's got the manual on that and stuff. Pretty cool. So I told him, I was like, John, if you didn't buy that, I was going to because my copy is really beat up. So, so I had to get it. But, yeah. And then the uh, last thing I got that day is pretty cool find. I just stuck about. I got a, a Sega Saturn game, actually. Magic Knight Ray Earth. You know, it's got the stickers and everything. Like cool stuff. And that's uh, everything I got that day. Pretty stoked about it. Oh, yeah. Took a little trip to Charlotte and uh, talked to a guy on Craigslist. Yeah, he's sort of at a flea market. He's trying to get a store going and stuff called GameSwap. And uh, so I went up there. I met him uh, at his house and he actually uh, recognized me. It's pretty funny. I walked in, he's like, I recognize you. And I was like, what? He's like, from YouTube. And I was like, oh man, it's crazy. It was definitely, definitely cool. I only picked up one game on Sega CD, and I picked up Batman Returns. He went 10 for it, all had it was a 5 and 20. So he was nice enough to give it to me for 5. I was pretty surprised. Nice guy. If you're ever in the area, definitely check it out. So uh, I took a little trip to, a little side trip to Kramerton while I was in the Charlotte area. Hit up Gamers Alley, of course. And I got three box Super Nintendo games for 25 bucks. Always a good deal. Nice people there. Got a hook. Jurassic Park. And Killer Instinct. Uh, this didn't have a CD in it, but I found my copy of the CD, so now it's complete. <laughs> Great deal. Great deal. Um, always love dealing with those guys. Nice people. So I picked up a Craigslist deal here recently, and mostly stuff that I, you know, that I had doubles of, or stuff that was mainly just crap. But uh, one thing that was pretty notable in the deal that I took it, and I saw a box for a Donkey Kong 3. And if you guys know from one of our recent pickups, I got that and the other two boxes completely here. And uh, it wasn't the game wasn't in there; it was just the box only. So I ended up doing a little deal with John. Here. I uh, hooked him up with it. Very cool. Conveniently, I already had the game, so it worked out great for me. Yeah, definitely. Took another trip to Player's Choice and uh, picked up several things on some trade. One sixty-four game. I got Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. A little hologram type label. I got two NES games. Adventure Island 2. 
little bit more of a rarer one. I got Battletoads Double Dragon. Very happy. Uh, picked up one box NES game. Got Dr. Mario. You know, not necessarily my favorite game, but I could pass up a nice box like this for eight bucks. That's some trade. Yeah. yeah. The two Sega CD games. We got Eternal Champions. And a classic here. Uh, the Adventures of Batman and Robin. Really stoked about that. And then I actually picked up a PlayStation accessory. I got this here Street Fighter PlayStation 2 controller. Pretty cool. I'm a big Street Fighter fan, so saw it, had to pick it up. And then I also got one uh, bit weirder SNES accessory. Got the X Band in the box here. Pretty weird. It's actually a Super Nintendo modem, which you probably already know this, but I'll stick to check it out. And uh, apparently, you can still play the mini games on it, and uh, you can use it to play Super Famicom games without actually having to break those pins off or pegs off in your Super Nintendo. So, I'm pretty sick about that. I also got uh, several things from there. Uh, I got one uh, new game, and been waiting for them to finally get it in. And I got it for the PlayStation 3 because, you know, I've uh, played these games on PlayStation originally, and uh, that's what I think that it should be played on. I mean, personally. That was, uh, I got Resident Evil 6. It came from Walmart, and it came with all these like character stickers and stuff in it. And it's pretty cool. We got two uh, Super Nintendo games. We got Spider-Man Venom, Separation and Society. Uh, one of John's favorite games, Super Turkey. So my uh, NES recently decided to crap out here recently, you know. So I uh, got a, a new, so I got a new NES here, and uh, it's got the new 72 pin in it and stuff. Uh, came with all the hookups and everything, so you know. Now I have a now I have a working Nintendo. We got uh, four box complete Sega Genesis games. We got the Revenge of Shinobi. We got Superman. Vector Man 2. And uh, one of my favorite games, X-Men. This past time we went in there, they got in a pretty big lot of uh, Sega CD games. So I picked up all the ones that they had, pretty much. Uh, me and John did. And, uh, picked up... Uh, Prize Fighter, Formula One Beyond the Limit, Racing Aces, Stella Fire, Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck, and this this cover of this last game is like, man, I'm so good at this game. This because it looks awesome. The title too. The title too. And I'm pretty sure it's terrible, but come on. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Can't walk away from that. Nah. On for the NES games I got that day. You guys know, you guys know I always get a big lot of NES games when I go there. We got Bad to the Future 2 and 3. Danny Sullivan's In the Heat. Infiltrator. POW, Volleyball, Sky Kid, Shotgun the Ruler with Manual, WWF King of the Ring. I recently had this game box complete, but uh, this did a deal here recently. They were uh, traded to, away to get a bunch of crazy stuff. I'm going to show you guys from another pickup video with a screw diver picker. So, but I had to repeat the game up because it's one of my favorite games on the NES. And that is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. We got a game I've been wanting to get for a while, Pick Boy 2. And the last loose game I got from there, Galaxy 5000. It's kind of a long time game. 
three box complete games are all in really good shape. Nothing amazing, but, you know, come on. Mission Impossible. Super Bowl Ball. I believe it's Kabuki Quantum Fighter, is that how you say it? It's like a really fun game. I picked it up here not too long ago, loose part, like two bucks I believe at the bargain shop. Uh, that's everything that I got at Player's Choice here this past trip. Uh, but you guys know me and John will definitely keep going back there again and again. Come back more with crazy stuff. I still got like a ton of trade credit from the past time I went. It's like an unlimited trade. Yeah. So I picked up a few things off eBay. Uh, this I actually got a, long, a while back. I thought it was in a video, but apparently I never showed it, so I thought I'd show you guys. I got a Sega CDX. I also got a couple games with it, but nothing notable, so I didn't really show it in. Definitely a good find. I actually don't remember what I paid for. It's been a long time. but right. And the next thing I got was uh, Tsufami Turbo in the box. I actually just opened it, but it came with the Gundam game, it was that edition, so just stuck to check it out. I actually got this because I want to get the Power Rangers game on there, but it's kind of hard to find, so we'll see how that goes. Next thing I got, kind of broke the bank, it was, uh, it was a little pricey, but I was supposed to be making this deal to get a Neo Geo cab, and it kind of fell through, so I felt like I spent some of that money on a game on eBay, and I picked up a game I've been looking for for a long time, it's kind of rare, so I haven't found it. So. I had to go eat the eBay route, and it was Air Fighters on Super Nintendo. It's not, it's not mint, but you know, there's a little bit of label damage right there, but still a good copy. You know, fun game. So I'm very happy about that. Definitely one of the more hard of the games to find on Super. Yeah, it's, it's probably the rarest. I'd say that's the rarest in my collection. Yeah, definitely. But I believe that's everything that we had to show you guys that we haven't shown you guys already, I'm pretty sure. But thank you guys for watching this pickup video for us. Uh, gonna hopefully uh, have a new episode here out soon. Uh, it's gonna be our 10th episode special. You know, we're gonna try to do something kind of cool for it, just cause, you know. 10th episode, get something exciting, right? Yep. Yeah, um, Should be fun. Yeah, definitely, but... Hope you guys enjoyed this pickup video. And uh, thanks again for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Until then.